So now I want to talk about moving a sample directly to the pads, right? So I can come to here, or grab this sample here, this one right here, right? And then I want to move my cursor here to the front of it, and you'll see a speaker appear there. And I can grab another one here. Okay, now we got this OK5 percussion right here, as you can see it says there. And I can take this sound and move it to a pad. I'm going to go to this pad 16, and that's it there. Notice, I'm playing it and hitting it, but you don't hear it as loud. Now I come to here and play it. That's loud. Now let me explain this. The reason why this happens is because, let's go to preferences here. And you'll see here in preferences that under audio devices, you'll notice that my voice is triggering an output and you see a view meter for that. And that's green right here. And so that's great, right? And what's even cooler, I can come and press test and you can hear that sound, it's testing. Well, that sounds good. But notice in the upper right hand corner of the software, we have our view meter for the project and I'll press it again. You don't hear that sound because these sounds are just sent directly to the speaker on our computer. This sound here from the sampler is doing the same thing. It's sending directly to me. You don't see it here in the upper right hand corner in the view for that sound because it's being sent directly through the speakers on the computer. But the one, when I move the sound to the pads, this is going to the mixer. So think of that. Whenever you put something on a pad, this starts out at one level. These sounds sound low, but it's at a low level because it's going through the mixer. And since what's happening here is that that pad is one channel in that group or in that program then that program has an overall output, which has another fader for that, which raises the level for that. Then that output can be sent to a submix or it can be sent directly to the master output. Now this may be confusing at first, but I must explain this. So we'll come to here and you'll see here, we have it just like this here, right? And you can see this right here. We can see our samples and everything that's happening here. But you'll notice one thing for sure, that this is the group. Now I'll play the project a little bit. See that? That's the bass drum. The bass drum is in turn right here. And this is the output for the bass drum. It gets louder. It's ahead. It's too loud with the red right there. This here is the group master output. Then it's being sent Here's a subgroup, sub one to sub one here. Now we're getting louder. Notice we're getting louder and there's nothing going in the red now. That output is going directly to our master, which is right here. Let's stop this. That is why you hear it low when you take a sample from the sample pool and put it on a pad.